Oh yeah, it is that time again. 12 days of Beardmas where we bring you a video every single day. Back to back to back to biggity 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 back again for you guys. Welcome on in if you don't know. My name is Dan C. Bearded and you guys are amazing. In this series, I plan on posting every day at 7 a.m. Eastern, a video where I'm going to highlight a company. I'm gonna give you a bearded history lesson each day of a new beard throughout history. And then of course, we're gonna drop a giveaway every single day. With that being the case, I have to film every day, upload, edit, all that stuff. I can't even work in advance here, and I love that. This is me bringing a little bit of my actual history teaching to you guys giving back to the channel and the community with some giveaways and just spreading some good old positivity with the holiday spirit. I'll break down the rules for everything on the giveaways towards the end and I even have that history lesson for you guys today. This guy's name is Ned Kelly. So if you know about him, maybe learn a little bit more and if you don't, whew, sit back and relax. This is a good one. So check out my intro guys and then we'll be into the info. Company, on each of the videos for 12 Days of Beardmas, I'm gonna feature one of four companies that is going to host the giveaway for that day. Giveaway? And each giveaway is going to be a combo, whether it's an oil and balm combo, or even like in the case today, an oil, balm, and butter in your choice of scent. Now something really cool is the four companies that we're featuring this year are the same four from last year. That says a lot about the company, their quality, their customer service, and their support for this channel. I absolutely love that. Now the company in our first video is actually the company I brainstormed with and worked this whole idea out, and that is Fable Beard Co. Now Fable Beard Co. is owned by Colin, AKA The Wizard, and what makes them special is they are super unique. They have a theme to every single scent that they sell. It has a character that is made by their own artist and a storyline that goes with it. You don't really see that anywhere else, and if you do, Fable was the first one to really create that, which is pretty amazing. Now, I recommend highly The Teacher. This is my collaboration with Fable Beard Co. there. It is a berry citrus smelling scent, very light, very nice, and it just is a really, really cool opportunity to have worked with them. To see this created and to see this get out to you guys is absolutely awesome. And Fable's doing really well. They recently just moved the company, they have a bigger lab, and they are just working their butts off, killing it over there. So today's focus is Fable Beard Co. Beard of the day. Today, we are gonna learn about, boom, Ned Kelly, the Australian Bush Ranger. Now, Ned Kelly was born in Australia. He had two Irish immigrant parents, and they actually had their family there because we know Australia was a prison colony, and his dad was a convict in Ireland, was sent to Australia, and was in and out of prison there. And his dad actually died when Ned was at a young age, and Ned became the breadwinner of the house and had to provide for the family at a very young age. So he himself turned to to illegal activities, mainly stealing cattle, getting in on different crime raids, and was in and out of prison himself. He even believed that the police were targeting him and this really fueled the rest of his life. Now, Ned goes on to be this notorious outlaw. He becomes well known for wearing a metal bulletproof uh, suit. It was covering his head, was covering his body, did not cover his legs, which we'll get to in a little bit. And so he goes for years of being an outlaw. Different bank robberies, banks put up a bounty for him, the police give people the right to shoot and kill on scene for him or his gang, and he just is terrorizing, becomes this kind of folk legend as he's going around. And then it gets to be the very end. He has a murder. He believes that the police are going to send this police train car to come get them. So they go to this town and essentially hold the whole entire town hostage. They put about 60 people in a building in a bar, actually, and they're waiting for the police to come. They destroy the railroad. They're going to ambush them. The police kind of hear about this. They're smart. They approach it cautiously, and we have a shootout. Some of the hostages are killed. Some members of the police, some members of Ned Kelly's gang are killed. And then Ned Kelly's able to actually slide out the back while this shootout is going on between his gang and the police. He gets the flanking side of the police, starts unloading, and then the police are shooting at him. They're realizing he has this metal bulletproof 
armor on. They don't know what to do. One police officer notices that his legs are not covered, so he drops down, shoots him in the leg, and Ned Kelly goes down. He's actually shot in the leg multiple times. He's shot in the groin twice. He's shot in the elbow. He's not doing too well, but he lives, and he stands trial for a murder of a police officer, and then he is charged to be hanged to death. And he is, his body is buried outside of a prison until 50 years later when his body is going to be dug up. They go and essentially these gangsters come in and they take the body. They are trying to, I don't know, kind of make a shrine and, and salute and honor of this folk legend in Australia. And the police try to get the body back. They get some of the parts. They identify it with a long lost relative of Ned Kelly and they get the DNA. The only thing missing though is the skull. The skull went to a museum that was found missing and then they found it in a vault in that same museum then it went missing again and then randomly a farmer comes forward and is like hey I have the skull of Ned Kelly I even have a missing tooth the tooth fit they ran the DNA and it wasn't his skull so we don't know today where that skull is and it's kind of one of those big mysteries of all time. Was it destroyed when they were demoing the prison? Does someone have this beautiful Ned Kelly shrine with a beardless skull that is out there? Pretty kind of crazy to think about. Now a couple interesting things about Ned Kelly and his life is one, when he was a young man, I believe he was age 11, he saved a boy from drowning. He went into the creek, saved this kid, which was pretty amazing. He was given a green sash as honor for saving this young man. And on his shootout, the day that he was captured by the police, he had that green sash on underneath his armor. So obviously it was something that was special and valuable to him. And Ned had some famous final words before he was going to be hanged to death. And those were, such is life. And that became just kind of just overwhelming motto for Australia at the time. And one of the things that was a big deal is he exposed a corrupt police force. There were uh, police officers that were actually charged with corruption and entire institutions that were taken down after Ned Kelly. So that kind of leaves with the question, was this bearded man a hero for exposing a, this corrupt police force? Or was he just a ruthless murderer, bank robber, low life uh, criminal that was out there? That's really for you to decide after hearing all that information. So one of my favorite ones from the opposite end of the world, beautiful beard as you guys see in the pictures there, Ned Kelly, the outlaw from Australia. Winner, winner, beard combo dinner. Does that work? <laughs> I think that works. Well guys, this is the segment where I'm gonna post the winner every single day. Now how do you have a chance to become that winner? It's very simple. I'm not gonna make this complicated. You don't have to go to my Instagram and repost something that's super annoying and we see the same picture 10,000 times on our Instagram feed. No, just two very easy ways to enter this. First is you need to be a subscriber to this channel. I will check. That is really important to me. Subscriptions to a small channel like this really does help the growth, the exposure, all of that type of stuff. So be subscribed. And then number two is you need to leave a comment down below with something positive. That can be something about the beard of the day. You learn something interesting. You love that bearded historical figure. It can be something about the company. You love this company. It's your favorite beard oil. It's your favorite beard butter, whatever it may be. Or even about the channel, about the community. Like, Dan, you are looking beautiful. <laughs> this is stop. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. You make me, you make me blush. Uh, getting a little sweaty. But really, whatever you put down there, as long as it's positive, supporting, that's going to be your entry. And then I'm going to run it through a random comment generator when I film the video the next day. And then right about here, I'm going to post the winner. You'll show your comment. You'll contact me at Dan C. Bearded on Instagram with your name, your address, and your scent choice. And if you don't have an Instagram, get one. If you still do not have one, you can use email dan underscore command at yahoo.com. I have all my contact info in the description always. It's that simple. Tomorrow we'll have our first winner, bam, right on there. And then we will run through all 12 days of these amazing winners, guys. I am really, really excited. This is really my favorite series we do all year round. And some days, like Wednesdays, you're going to see me three times a day, 7 a.m. in the morning, 3.30 p.m 
p.m. with our normally scheduled video, and then the majorly bearded live stream at 9 p.m. Eastern. Nothing else changes. This is just in addition to what I already do. So hopefully you guys don't get sick of me. Fingers crossed here. I never get sick of you guys, so it's all love. So I hope you guys liked the first one for 2019, 12 Days of Beardmas. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded and always, especially this time of year, guys, stay positive. Thank <laughs> you.